Atlantis is a powerful tool that you can use for automation of Terraform commands all within your version control system. Let's take a look at this quick demo to understand the workflow and see how everything uh, works. So in this diagram here, as you can see the workflow for Atlantis, what we have is we've got GitHub in this box. We've got Atlantis running as a server. And as a developer, you commit and then you push your code into a dev branch or a feature branch. And, uh, and then you have a merge request or a pull request. What happens then is a, a webhook fires and Terraform plan automatically runs through Atlantis. And uh, the output of that uh, speculative plan will show up in the merge request or pull request comments. So you can see that right in your version control system. Then what you can do is you can run Atlantis apply, which effectively runs Terraform apply. And once again, you'll see the output in the pull request comments. Uh, then the owner of the repo, for example, the main branch, whoever has privileges in the main branch to merge the dev branch to the main branch can go ahead and merge. Now, this is a very useful uh, workflow when you're provisioning, especially in a dev environment, because you get to see everything working in your environment before you go ahead and merge your dev branch into your main branch. So let's go ahead and see a demo for all of this. Okay, let's go ahead and see all of this in action. On the left hand of the screen is the uh, owner of the repo here that we're going to use. And on the right hand of the screen is a contributor into this repo or a developer. So just to, so you can keep track of what I'm doing. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get this all working. So you can uh, use this repo. It's a public repo. You can fork it and, uh, and then you can run code spaces. Code spaces will automatically ins install Atlantis in the code space environment along with Terraform and Ngrok. Okay. So I have a code space already running. So you, we can go ahead and take a look at our code space. So as you're familiar with code space, you get a visual studio like, uh, in a browser. So here we've got our files on the left hand side and a terminal at the bottom. And in this ter terminal, I go ahead and run ngrok. I've done that already. You can follow the instructions, run ngrok HTTP 4141. Uh, also, you need to put your authentication uh, code with ngrok so you can go and create an account at ngrok.com. So what this will do, it's basically listening. It's, uh, listening or at uh, this IP on port 4040 and it is forwarding to a public uh, address. So basically it allows us to work with webhooks so that we can run our uh, Atlantis server in this code space and get GitHub to send webhooks over to Atlantis. Now in the second terminal here, I'm running the Atlantis server and you can do that by running this uh, start Dot sh script. Uh, you can see here I've given you an example and you just need to fill out uh, these different environment variables and that would allow you to run the Atlantis server as you can see the command here. We are going to uh, use GCP to launch a Terraform or to use Terraform to launch a GCP uh, VM or instance. So you're going to need a path to your JSON file and uh, I have an example here, so you can go ahead and create a uh, the IM necessary in GCP, get your JSON file. I have it here. I'm also not checking it into Git. So uh, when you run your start uh, shell script, that will get everything working, the server working, and Atlantis is sitting here and waiting for uh, instructions. There is a UI that uh, you can view Atlantis in, so you can see it here. You can disable apply commands. Uh, in this case, we are not doing that. We have apply commands enabled. Fantastic. All right. So with everything all set up, let's, uh, let's go ahead and mimic a behavior of a typical developer. 
So here now I'm on the right side of the screen. I'm a developer. I'm working on this Terraform code. You can see my main.tf file right here. And I'm working with Terraform. I have my backend in Google's cloud storage. And uh, I got the provider Google. And I'm going to uncomment. I'm going to uncomment this resource. It's a Google Compute instance. And now I'm going to also uncomment the output because I want to see my output, the instance ID, and the public IP as well. Alrighty. So now that all is good, I'm in the dev branch. You can see at the bottom here in Visual Studio Code. So by the way, this is a code space as well, and I'm writing it in a private incognito window here. Uh, and I'm logged into my uh, GitHub account with a developer account, so it's different from the one I have on the left-hand side. But once again, I have a code space also running here, which is different than the other one. All right, so now all is good. I'm going to commit this code and say launch my GCP instance. All right, we're going to commit that. And I'm going to sync the changes with the dev remote branch. Once that's complete, I can go into my GitHub uh, extension for VS Code here and uh, create a pull request. And I'm merging changes from the dev branch over to the main branch. Uh, and let's go ahead and create this pull request. Uh, you can see here on the left-hand side, Atlantis receives a webhook. And uh, on the right-hand side, this is our pull request. So we can refresh that. It's pending two checks. And sure enough, we have a plan that got generated. Here's our Terraform plan. Terraform will perform the following actions. Um, and you can see that plan one to add, nothing to change, nothing to destroy. So this looks great. It also gives you some uh, a guide to what to do next. Here we can run uh, Atlantis apply, and that will go ahead and run our Terraform apply. If you expand this, you can also view this in an Atlantis UI here. So you can see your typical Terraform plan running here. You can close this window. And I'm going to run Atlantis apply right here and comment. What we'll do, this will, once again, issue a webhook over to Atlantis. And now the uh, Terraform apply is going to run. So I can refresh this once again, take a look. Uh, it's still running. You can see two successful checks. Apply is in progress. So we give this a few seconds, and this should be ready to go. Let's do another refresh. And sure enough, looks like our apply is complete. One is added. Uh, again, four successful checks. If you want to see this in a, an Atlantis UI, you can see this. Our public IP address as an output, our instance ID as an output. And I can go into uh, GCP and find the same uh, information. Here's our GCP compute engine. I can see my Atlantis VM dev instance that I just created. And uh, of course, all the attributes, I can see the IP address, the 3430.19.126 right here. So that is pretty much what you need to do when you're running Atlantis. And uh, from here, you can run everything from uh, within your developer's environment. So as you can see, everything is running in code spaces here or Visual Studio Code, if you will. Uh, I could have done the same thing from um, from GitHub itself, you know, but as a developer, you want to be in your IDE. Now, once we've actually, uh, once we've actually run all this, well, the pull request is still open. So I need to, uh, have a reviewer look at it. And in this case, my reviewer, and I can do this from Visual Studio Code, but let me change it. Let me do this from GitHub instead, just to show you the difference. So I can go and look at my pull requests. Uh, I am the maintainer or the owner of this repo. So I can see here that a review is required. So I can add my review and I can say, oh, okay, I see what's going on. We're adding a new resource. I see the outputs. So this looks good to me. I can review these changes, approve them and say good to go, for example, uh, submit the review. And uh, again, the reviewer could be me, could be somebody else. And now I can uh, go ahead and merge the pull request, confirm the merge, 
And what this is going to do, it's going to confirm the merge and close my um, close my pull request. And I don't need to delete this branch since it's a dev branch, we can reuse it later. Or if it's a feature branch, we can always delete it as well. If I go back to the developer side of things, I can go into my GitHub uh, extension, do a refresh. I see no more open requests. This has already been merged, as you can see. Um, so we're all good to go. And that is pretty much it. All I wanted to show you is how you can use the Atlantis workflow with Terraform and uh, how it's useful for a developer to get everything, a developer and uh, an ops or DevOps person who, uh, you know, uh, approves these requests. Everybody can collaborate within your own version control system, in this case, within GitHub. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.